Good afternoon, welcome to the UK Column Live. It news, it is the 18th of December 2014 and it's just gone uh, five past one. Myself, Louise Collins, Brian Gerrish and Nick are here in Plymouth and Clive DeCarl is also here, but fortunately he couldn't fit into our massive studio, so he's upstairs on a Skype link. <laughs> well, which, which we hope is going to behave itself. Well, we're going to come straight over to um, Nottingham and child abuse in Nottingham and we'll thank one of our viewers for pointing out that the BBC, BBC East Midlands, uh, suddenly came out with a flurry of reporting on uh, Operation Daybreak. This is uh, from the BBC uh, report. Uh, it's got, I think it's 13 children's homes now listed in the, in the Nottingham area um, as being affected by child abuse. And uh, just about readable at the bottom, uh, we haven't interfered with this image at all, we can see Operation Daybreak. Uh, now, it's fascinating that at the recent court case of uh, Beechwood abuse victim Melanie Shaw, um, those present in the court said that at one point the judge had effectively said that uh, Operation Daybreak was a conspiracy theory. So we're not quite sure how that works with the BBC. But of course, the BBC had not been reporting child abuse for quite some time. We phoned them a few days ago and asked a simple question. Yeah. Uh, why are you not reporting child abuse, the child abuse in Nottingham? BBC said, well, we are, which clearly they weren't. Um, then there's uh, silence for a couple of days and suddenly this report comes out. Well, this man has come into the fore. He's Paddy Tipping, he's Nottinghamshire Police and Crime Commissioner. And um, uh, what's interesting is he's been helping the police uh, with some of their inquiries, um, just providing them with information because this gentleman was himself involved with um, children's services um, uh, going back a few years. So um, we just thought it'd be interesting just to have a little look at uh, what sort of thing the BBC has been talking about. Now, at the moment, um, the jury's out on, on Paddy Tipping. That's probably an unfortunate expression. What I mean by that is that uh, we're waiting to see how much um, uh, impact this man can have on getting the Operation Daybreak um, investigation to move forward. Is he really going to be out there pushing hard for the victims of child abuse in Nottingham? We're still waiting to see. Uh, but let's have a look at uh, the sort of thing the BBC's um, I've been up to. Now, this has been taken from the viewer who kindly sent in their analysis. We thought it was so good. We're just bringing it up on the screen raw, as it were. So the coming forward of over 100 victims was the second item on the BBC regional TV news last night. And that was two minutes, 28 seconds into the report. East Midlands today can reveal tonight that detectives on a major child abuse inquiry have interviewed their own peace police commissioner. Paddy Tipping has given a witness statement about people he worked with at, a, child, at uh, a children's home in Nottingham. We've also been told more than 100 people have contacted the police to say they were victims. So the comment uh, by our viewer was told by whom? This is a sop by the police to the BBC. So what we've got is the BBC repeating old information as if it was new. Everybody knows that 100 uh, abuse victims have come forward. UK Column, first of all, uh, got the report of 62 victims from the police. Uh, BBC at that time were reporting nothing. Um, the BBC then slides into a chummy brackets preemptive damage control interview with Tipping talking about the very dim and distant 1970s. So clearly children aren't being abused today. Children haven't been abused recently. It's all back in the dim and distant 1970s. And uh, he's uh, on record as saying that he wasn't a regular visitor to Beechwood. Well, uh, we're pleased to hear that. Um, he claims uh, that what his own police really wanted from him was a general picture of how the social services worked in those days and what the chain of command was. So this is this is a lovely soft report from the BBC. Uh, we've had over a hundred children. That's just Beechwood. That isn't the thirteen children's homes, and the police are well. They're working out what the structure of social services was, and um, 
they are pushing to the BBC uh, news which is not news, it's regurgitating the line. So, of course, we're paying for all this, and this is how the BBC likes to show itself, smart, attractive, um, personable, and, of course, highly intelligent people reporting the absolute truth, or maybe not. not. Uh, so let's have a look at the man who's absolutely in the frame. Here he is, Jeremy Ball, and uh, had a little look at his... Um, what is this? I always get this wrong. This is Facebook or... Um, That's no, Twitter. Twitter, thank you. I'll get it right at some stage. One day. You can continue to smile. <laughs> There'll be a new one out by then. <laughs> so here he is. Um, and um, look what he's got. Uh, exclusive. Uh, police investigating child abuse at homes in Knots have interviewed their own police and crime commissioner. Paddy Tipping has given a witness statement. I'll have more at one o'clock. So absolutely crowing on uh, what was going on. Is this today? This uh, was done, or this is a while back. Uh, I think that was 20 hours ago. Oh, I've, really? I've pressed oh, the no, button Oh, no, that's fine. Now, I'm, so did you get that today? I meant, or was yes. that like not a wow? Yes. Okay. So uh, this is all hot stuff. And then let's just go through this. Um, uh, this is our viewer commenting still. The talking head outside Knott's Police HQ, Jeremy Ball, social affairs correspondent, BBC East Midlands Today, then says... Several men have been arrested, three of those men still on bail as suspects, and Operation Daybreak has now become one of Nottinghamshire's largest criminal investigations. Uh, now, the Red Children's Homes in the attached screenshot from minute 4.45 are the ones announced today, the 17th of November, as newly under investigation. The total, yeah, is 13 homes investigated in all, nine still under investigation, uh, so a lot of work to do before this investigation is complete. And the person has said, I think quite correctly, managing public expectations. Uh. And at minute five, the talking head, Mr. Ball, is prompted by the studio anchors to say that if he knows anything new, he proceeds to read from a, I am told that, list from a number of authoritative sources um, some of the things that the police simply can't confirm. So this is this is the BBC clearly acting as the mm. spokesman for uh, Nottingham Police. One of the rape allegations involves a man who went on to become a senior council official involved with children's homes. Wow. OK. OK. And comment from the viewer, Nottinghamshire Police are now considering a separate abuse inquiry involving unconnected uh, sorry, children's home. Sorry, that was a statement in the report. And then he gets on to this. Uh, there ha there's been one extraordinary allegation that children were murdered and buried at Beechwood. The police were so worried about that that they dug the grounds up. They didn't find any evidence to substantiate that. But I think it does show how seriously these allegations are being taken. Well, we phoned the BBC today to say, would Mr. Ball like to justify that comment in view of the fact that as far as we're concerned, BBC, um, whether it's um, also a lack of professionalism, yep. but misleading the public over the Nottinghamshire police forensic investigation of Beechwood. So here's the statement again. So there's been an extraordinary allegation that children were murdered and buried at Beechwood. The word extraordinary to me here suggests that he's trying to say, well, this is outrageous. It does. That's exactly. This absolutely. Is, this is outrageous. Who could believe that yes. somebody would murder children? And then he supports the police. But I do think it shows how seriously these allegations yeah. are being taken. So we're going to say we believe this is misleading because... Uh, no full forensic investigation of Beechwood was carried out. Melanie Shaw, who was, the, who was the child abuse victim making the allegations of abuse, suicide and murder at Beechwood, was never taken back on site by the police. So the police are saying that they had a key witness who was talking uh, detail about what happened to her, what yeah. happened to other children, and, well, we're not going to take you back on site to show us around and point out where things happened and at one stage after the police supposedly carried out a full forensic investigation uh, the only hole on site was a two two foot by two foot hole in one location 
So it's a little bit difficult to see how the police carried out a full forensic investigation. And then what happened rapidly, of course, was that Nottingham City Council sold the site. So Operation Daybreak as an overall investigation, not yet complete. What does the council do? It sells the site, not to a detached third party, but somebody working in partnership with the council. It's, it's uh, interesting stuff. Oh. So uh, what can we add to this? Um, well, we're going to add this bit at the bottom here, which is that since whistleblowing her own abuse and that of nearly 100 other children, Melanie Shaw has been threatened. She's had her son taken by social services. She's been imprisoned for three months, including solitary. She's been bullied, denied medical treatment, and now recently convicted of arson and branded as delusional. And the BBC has consistently refused to report on the suffering of uh, this very, very yeah. brave lady, Melanie, and of course, other child abuse victims such as Mickey Summers. So we're, we're going to say that the reporting from uh, Jeremy Ball, sloppy at best, deliberately misleading at worst. But of course, the BBC clearly still not learnt anything from the fact that their favourite media paedophile Jimmy Savile was allowed to do what he did because they would not report accurately when people and investigate when people yeah. pushed out warnings. Um, so um, if I just bring that back on um, on screen, thank you, Nick. Uh, we better just end here because, of course, we did ask the BBC for comment. Uh, we were told that Jeremy Ball was he was having a day off today. Such a good report oh. yesterday. You get a day off probably. And uh, the BBC declined to comment. Um, OK, well, let's look at the reality. So let's remind ourselves that Nottingham City and County Council pay out 250,000 to 26 victims. Uh, but uh, there's nothing to see. There's no cover up. But this is how the number of children, the number of victims increased uh, as a result of Melanie Shaw coming forward and saying what was going on. And of course, people are responsible, not organisations. And here's Chief Constable Chris Eyre. And um, remember that in the early days when UK Column started to report what was really happening, uh, his police force that had failed to deal with the paedophiles was pretty hot on the mark, yeah. threatening the UK column with legal action unless we ceased reporting on the Beechwood case. And we're going to come back with what we said uh, when we originally used this slide many months ago. Why would a former vulnerable child abuse victim be frightened and under duress after whistleblowing to Nottingham Police? And there can only be one answer. Uh, what has the BBC not been talking about? Well, it hasn't been talking about this, and that is that uh, uh, Nottingham County Council had routinely destroyed files showing oh. details of child sex abuse, and it took uh, MP John Mann to stand up and ask what on earth was going on. So the BBC just can't get to grips with mm. this. Uh, one of the feeble excuses that uh, the BBC has used is that their legal teams are telling them, oh, we mustn't report uh, because we, we, could, uh, we could be in trouble with the law. So uh, the police at the moment, is Operation Daybreak running? Well, the police say it is. Judges handling child abuse uh, uh, victims say it's a theory. <coughs> um, meanwhile, we've got glowing police websites like this with Superintendent Helen Chamberlain, Head of Public Protection, Nottingham. She's got all the latest makeup on. She's been wonderfully airbrushed uh, to give us the impression that Nottingham police are nice people and they're really protecting the children. Like it, uh, we'll leave people to make their own minds up.